Hello, JHAP community, and hello, November Burn Club members. Welcome to your stretch video. I am so excited uh, to put this together for you this evening. We've got a nice little serene setup going on here. I hope it works for you. I'm open to your feedback. You know I do this every month, so you let me know how best I can help. Okay, let's find our way to the mat. All right, I have some ambiance music playing this month. If it's not your jam, you play your music louder, okay? <laughs> Let's start with a lovely butterfly stretch here seated. All right, we're gonna get right into it. I want you to place your hands right on your ankles and then put a gentle pressure of the ankles into the hands and the hands into the ankles so we can find some nice lengthened alignment here in our spine. Just want us to take three breaths together. Inhale in. Exhale, just imagine that head floating up taller, abdominals of course engaged, it's me. Inhale in. Exhale, ankles into hands, hands into ankles. And one more breath, letting anything unhelpful, unuseful just leave on the exhale. Keeping the height and the length in your spine, Let's start to roll our head to the right. Let's go three times. Ear to your shoulder. Make sure that chin goes all the way down and then ear to the shoulder. Easy on the way back. We never want to pinch the spine. So find a lift with the chest as that head goes back. And then let's pause right at center and we'll go the other direction. Oh. Feel this with those lats pulling down and stretching through that upper back. Take your time. And we have one more circle. Keep those sits bones grounded into the mat. And then chin falls to your chest. From here, you're going to contract back. So pull your ribs in. Dive your forehead towards your big toes and stretch. Press your elbows down into your thighs, lengthen through your back, and then return to a seated position. All right, we do that again. Abdominals pull in and round. Diving forward. Lengthen through your spine. And pull up. And one more time. Abs in, round the spine. Finding fluidity in the body as things begin to open up and now reverse that. So you're gonna flat back forward, hold. Belly button in, drop the head, contract and round. Keep your spine rounded as you roll up and then everything comes to the top. Two more times on that. Flat back forward, press the elbows down. Round your spine, release. Belly button in, back onto the sits bones. Feel the back of your neck just lengthen up to the ceiling. Again, flat back last time. Exhale. Pulling it in. And lengthening it up. Good. Let's hug those inner thighs together. And we'll take some very gentle, not too stressful, half roll downs. All right. Tuck the pelvis under, squeeze the inner thighs and then roll it up. Just three more friends, all right? Tucking under, rounding. Think of massaging through the lower spine. Anchor the heels down. Make sure nothing gets too tight through the front of the legs. And lift. And then one more time. And back to lift. Now straighten your legs, point your toes, arms out to the side, tuck your pelvis, reach your arms forward, contract and round. Same thing, just with lengthened legs. And again, pull those shoulder blades down and lift. Two more times, belly button in. And up. Last time here, keep the back of your neck nice and long 
and lift and now flex your feet we have four more as we stretch the back of the legs just with a little bit more intensity and lift Inhale on the way up. Exhale on the way down. Very last time, everybody. Exhale here. Lift. Point the toes. Reach your arms up and then take a forward full stretch. Belly button pulls in. Knees lift into that boat. Simply extend the legs and then lower down with control. Again, reach. It was requested this month and I always listen to requests <laughs> that we include a little bit more of what my dancers get up to. All right, that's very much where this is coming from. Reaching over, head down, abs pull in, boat pose. Arms and legs reach up. Find the control as the legs lower. A modification here, if this is just too much, too soon. Hands behind the thighs. Yeah, maybe you reach one leg at a time, maybe both legs, and then you just slide down, whatever works. All right, this is all about you. I just encourage always in every exercise that you think of it as a fingertip to toe exercise. Everything involved. And lift. And reach. And lower. We have one more here. Lengthen out. And lift. And reach. And lower. Beautiful. We're going to come back to that. But lift up nice and tall from here. We're going to take a little bit of twisting. So open the arms to me. And lift. And then other side. Twist. And lift. And twist. Beautiful. Not just the shoulders, you know how I roll. Always through the rib cage, yes? So turn that breastbone side to side, continuing to lengthen through the crown of your head. And again, press. Oh, feels good. <laughs> feels necessary. <laughs> and reach. Good. I'm feeling one more each side. So belly button in. Now try not to twist your hips with you. Keep your hips rooted. Now, arms up, reach forward. We're going to keep twisting just a little bit with the elbow pulling back. Other side. And forward. And forward. Four more. Twist. And three. Good. Two. Last time. Now, arms forward, flex your feet. We did this in October. I really feel it is important in this forward fold stretch for you to go around the toes. A lot of times I see people just pulling their toes here. First of all, that stops the stretch of my upper body and it doesn't actually stretch my feet, okay? So, wrapping around. Yeah, so your hands are like this. Reach around your toes and drop your head. Oh. Inhale, exhale, see if your crown can come forward a little bit more, bend your elbows, drop your shoulders. Inhale, exhale, abdominals pull you into your thighs. Now, just bring both hands over to that left foot. And now I want you to pull on the big toe, Little bit of pressure on the pinky toe. Okay, when I say pull, like please know I don't actually mean yank, okay? Just giving a bit of information to the foot to let the foot know it can release, it's cradled, it can stretch. Now, start to slide that heel forward a little bit more like you're pushing it out from your hip, okay? All the way from here, lengthen out. A little wiggle waggles if you need it, yeah. Keep breathing, never hold your breath, inhale in. Exhale, reach. Good, other side. Over to that right foot. Inhale, shoulders down. 
Exhale, bit of information. Yeah, make sure that foot is flat. Not more pressure through the pinky than the big toe and vice versa, it's equal. Maybe you lift that heel up just a little bit more and slide it forward from the hip. Belly button stays in, inhale. Exhale. Oh, I need one more breath here, how about you? Inhale. And exhale. Good, all right. From here, I'll come to you first. So grab your right hand to the outside of your left. If all you're at today is a push down into the floor and lift that leg, it's fantastic, all right? You do that. If you're ready for a twist and reach with this, lift the foot, sit up tall. I don't even know if I'm ready for this because I feel it. <laughs> all right, lifting up, bend the knee in and pressing out and bending in and pressing out. Nice, I got a little more height there. Lift up tall, 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 tall. And arm comes up and you can assist with getting that foot down. Other side. Right, I'm uh, sorry, left hand to the top of your right foot. Maybe you just push your right hand down and get a little lift here. It's great, all right, it's great. Pat yourself on the back, that's huge. A lot of people can't do that. If you can take a little bit more, forgive me turning away from you. I'm here with you, I swear. Lift that leg and then reach the arm to the back of your mat. Maybe flex that foot a little more aggressively, bend in. Exhale, lift. Shoulders down. Telling myself to keep any tension out of the neck. Two more times, bending in. And exhale, reach. Last time, inhale, exhale, lift, arms up to the toe and over, good. From here, scooting forward, rolling down, knees into your chest. All right, believe it or not, this is some good lower back work, okay? Gentle single leg stretch, pull it in, I know. Some of you are saying, she's sneaking in the ab series. Maybe that's true, all right? But it really is a beautiful engagement through the lower back. Without the crazy tempo and the effort, I want you to think about really reaching your tail forward. Yeah, and I'm gonna stretch through my toes a little bit more here. Just focusing on the breath. How flat can you get that lower belly? Yeah, let's go two more. Both legs in, smooth and easy double leg stretch. Inhale, reach everything out. Now focus on the blades, shoulders coming down. Gently bend those knees in. All right, without pressure. If you need to lower your head, fantastic. Inhale, reach. Circle the arms, exhale in. That feels really good today, so I'm gonna stick with it. Inhale, reach. Circle, exhale in. One more time for me, friends. Inhale, out. Exhale in. I'm gonna bring my head back up for scissors. You're welcome to leave it down. Hands behind the legs, right leg up, left leg out. Pull, pull, can you say dynamic stretch? Yes, it's exactly what this is. One of the best things about Pilates that I feel is that all of these abdominal exercises include dynamic movement through the body that lengthens, that stretches, Shoulders down, and now flex your feet. Gentle, easy, friends. Press the heels away from you. And reach. Good, one more right. One more left, please first bend the knees in, and then lower the head down. Good, from here. Little bicycle, hands on the mat. Reach your right leg out and you're just gonna bicycle. All right, lower abdominal training supports your lower back. And we're lengthening out our legs. Just give me four and three and two. Hip mobility, one, reverse that bicycle. Yeah, 
press your tail down into the mat. Open up those hips, moving freely. Four, three, two, one. And knees in, take a happy baby. One of my very favorite positions. All right, flex your feet. Knees in towards the shoulders. And if that nice little gentle rocking starts to happen, embrace it and just let it happen. There's an allowance that I invite you to explore in stretching. It, yes, seems contrary to this idea of dynamic stretching, but it's really not. Dynamic stretching, just you allow the movement to really happen and to do its purpose, which is to extend and lengthen. You're not forcing anything, yeah, or trying to control how deep the stretch goes all the time. Just trust the movement, commit to it, and allow it to happen. One more breath here. Gently guide those knees down a little bit deeper. And exhale. We're going to release the hands first and assist with those knees coming in. And then lowering down to the mat. From here, arms reaching nice and long. We'll take some lovely bridges. All right. You know I love those heels as your anchor into the mat. All right. As well as your triceps. Inhale here at the bottom. Exhale, tuck your pelvis under and roll up through your spine, one vertebra at a time. Open the chest, lengthen the neck. Now squeeze that imaginary tennis ball between your upper thighs. And then roll down through your spine, one vertebra at a time. Lots of things to think about here. Inhale, tail heavy, abs engaged. Exhale, heels press down. Now tuck under and out towards the back of your knees, right at that crease. Yeah, if I think of lengthening out, as I go up, I'm gonna find some nice extension through the front, all right? And everything underneath is going to properly engage. A lot of times I see inner thighs release and those knees go out to the side. I want you to fight like crazy to pull those inner thighs to keep your knees in line with your hips. Deep breath in. As you roll down, exhale, I'm actually going to reach my tush forward towards my heels as if they could touch. And so then I'm not just working articulation, I'm finding new space and new length in my spine. And that is glorious. Inhale at the bottom. Let's do this two more times. Exhale, tucking under, rolling up. Open the collarbones, lengthening the neck. Exhale, let's find some flow and roll it right back. Inhale, exhale. Rolling down. Keep it moving. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, tuck and rolling it up. And relaxing the toes, let's take a little march. So engage your glutes. Long through the front, everybody. No tightening in those hip flexors. Lift your right knee and lower down and lift. Can you still squeeze that ball between your inner thighs and lift and lower and lift and lower. Four more times. Up and down. Lift and down. Two. One, put that foot down, inhale, exhale, rolling it down. Butterfly bridge, feet come together, knees open, stretch the hips for a moment. You can put some pressure on those hip flexors to release right here. If you want a little bit more aggressiveness, dig your thumbs in there. Yeah, just depends on how tight your hip flexors are. Mine are definitely overworked. Yeah, all this working out, which is fabulous. Of course, it takes its toll on the body. We just have to understand that, all right? The benefits far outweigh any muscle tightness, soreness that may occur, yeah? We just have to take care of those things that ache and that are sore, yeah? So that they don't get to a point of injury. All right, hands back down. Chest open, now squeeze your thighs up and your feet will just naturally slide down to your mat. Touch your inner thighs. Open, barely tap your bum on the floor and then squeeze back up again. And inhale at the bottom. 
Exhale, squeeze. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Again. Exhale, lift. And inhale. And exhale. Four more, everybody. Again, just finding some flow here. Inner thighs, not your knees, banging together. Three. And two. Last one, holding it up here, walk your feet back out just another inch or two in each side. Now extend your right leg out to the high diagonal. Point that foot, swing it back, kick two times. One, two, flex the foot, press forward. And again, stretch, stretch, flex, lift. Two more times, one, two, and reach. Last time, one, two, and reach. Lower that right leg down. Watch out for furniture. <laughs> Left leg out. Point your foot, squeeze those inner thighs. Let's take it back on a one. And a two, flex, lift. And again, one, two, flex. Last two times, just four here, everybody. And again. Foot down, inhale. Exhale, roll it down. You're gonna like this part. Here we go. Start with your left leg. Bring it in on a flex. I want you to point, flex, point, flex, and point, flex, holding the hug. Extend the leg. Bend it in. Grab behind the calf. Extend both legs. And return to center. Other side. Flex, point, flex, point, flex. Point, hold the flex and hug. Extend. Both knees bend. Both legs straighten and return. Other side, we'll do this a few rounds. Flex, point, flex, point, flex and hug. Reach the leg behind you and in. Now both legs extend and return. Find some flow. Flex, point, flex. Point, flex and hug, shoulders open and reach. And in, extend both legs and down. Other side again, flex. One, two, one, two, and hold. You reach oh, and in, getting deeper every time, lengthen and return. Good, again, and flex. Point, flex and point, flex, pull in. Reach and bend. Everybody, last time, each side. Here we go. Left leg in. Point, flex, point, flex, and hug. You breathe. Inhale. And other side. Last time. Point, flex, and point, flex, hug in. Extend it out. And in both legs, you reach and in. Nice, bring both knees into your chest. Rock it up and down, side to side. Feet back down. Curl your tail back up. Eight pulses, go. Eight, stretch out the thighs. Seven, lengthen the hips. Six, and five, and four, three, two. Knee marches again, here we go. Keeping it warm, lift and lower and lift and lower, good. Three more, trying not to shift your weight, it's all about control, core in, you never lose it. Now, you're gonna flex that foot and reach and down and again lift and down, just a little more intense with that stretch. Of course, we have some muscle engagement here, which we love, two more, reach in and reach set it down other side brush up and lift this is five four three two and one and down and booty down legs up to the ceiling now this is another dancer stretch here this whole series i do with my dancers all right flex your feet now press open gently, friends. Okay, you're gonna get a whole lot of foot here. I'm gonna change my angle just in case. You don't want a whole lot of foot in your face. 
You're still gonna get it. All right. <laughs> All right, but please be gentle here. All right, please, please, please do not ever do this. Little pressure with the hand. Now, it's great to be up at your calves. Just make sure your tail is heavy. Okay, I want booty on the mat. All right, shoulders up and try not to pull behind the knees. That's why I'm either behind the upper thighs or the calves. Now, pull your belly button in. Continue with caution and mindfulness, all right? Toes come up, hands on the mat. Flex your feet and open. Again, toes come up. Flex your feet and open. Toes come up. Flex your feet and open. And lift. Belly button tight. And lift. And open. Good. And lift. Four, three, two, one. Hold it open. Allow that stretch to happen. Inhale in. Exhale out. And even I am getting that little shake. It's so welcome. Yeah, just embrace it, allow it. Inhale in. Exhale, bend the knees. And into your chest once again, just up and down. And side to side. Very gently, keep your core engaged. Just allow those knees to drift over to the right. Open your chest to the left. Exhale, keep the left ribs reaching down to the floor. That's how your spine stays safe. Yeah, there is such a thing as overstretching, pushing too far beyond where your muscles are really safely meant to go. All right, left knee leads, abs pull in, right knee follows. And falling over to the left, open that arm to the right. Inhale in. And exhale out. Right ribs reaching down to the mat. And again, inhale in. Exhale out and then gently bring it back to center. Now, another variation on that, you're actually gonna cross your left heel over your right knee, all right? Not quite figure four. Allow the knee to pull up a little bit and that entire shape is gonna drift over. And what happens is you get a little bit of a deeper pull through your glute med. I'm just warming that up for you now, okay? Open your chest. Again, don't over pull with the legs. Yeah, see if you can just keep that Gentle engagement of the obliques, the left hip pulling down. It's a very lovely stretch. Bring it back to center nice and easy. And then flippy, flippy switch. All right, keep this right knee up, yeah? Not quite figure four. Oh, that feels good. Especially those of us that are gonna be doing this burnout three times a week, yeah, do this stretch. You need this glute med stretch. Those crazy booty exercises. Inhale in. Exhale out. And again, inhale. And exhale gently back to center. Now just keep that ankle there. And now we do go into that figure four stretch. Just hug it in. Now for me, I love this idea of pressing my right knee forward, okay? Resisting it coming up and really pressing that right butt cheek down. Okay, you get really dynamic stretch there. No shoulder tension, no curling up, yeah, creating pressure on the neck and the shoulders. Bring the leg to you, length of the tail away. Go inside the body, inhale in. 
Exhale, listen. Yeah, listen to that body. It will tell you what it needs. One more breath, friends. Inhale. Exhale. And let's switch. Other side. <laughs> I'm a moaner. I'm a groaner. You know this about me. <laughs> if you've worked out with me, if you've done these videos with me, you absolutely <laughs> know how I'm feeling at every moment. <laughs> It's because I'm truly in this with you, yeah. Trust me when I tell you these are not meant to show you how flexible I am and look at how beautiful these stretches are. This is about doing the work. Yeah, doing it together. How important it is. Inhale in. Exhale out. Good. All right, everybody. Let's make our way onto our left shoulder. All right, and we're going to come all the way down here. So you are on your forearm, on your elbow. And from here, we're going to take some bends with the knee, extending up and flexing down. Yeah, this is just, again, a hip opener. Boom. All right, and maybe, yeah, don't judge how high that leg goes. I'm even gonna take it down a notch because why am I working so hard? This is stretching, <laughs> okay? Yes, you should be working to your fullest extension, but really what I need to focus on is opening my hip at the moment, yeah. And then we just stabilize by pulling those ribs in, pressing our left leg down. Let's go one more in this direction. Reach, flex, lower, tap your heels and lift. Point and in. Push through your heel. Lift. Point and in. Good. If for some reason this is uncomfortable on your neck, you are welcome to come up. Yeah, we've got choices here. You find where best you're comfortable. Last time here. Point and down. Now, turning over. Lift up onto your hands and knees. A little more twisting here. I just want you to reach your right arm up. And down, left arm up and down. And you'll notice I can't get my shoulders all the way rotated. That's why we do this. And reach. And reach. Four more. Keep those abs in and reach. Last time, lift the left arm up and then you're gonna dive it all the way through your right for that thread, the needle. Oh yeah. And Please keep those abs engaged. And inhale. Exhale, maybe slide that arm another inch. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. And push down in that right hand. Gently slide that left hand back. Some cat cows here, abs in round. Open the chest. Exhale, let the head go. Feel the ribs right around your bra line for the ladies, breastbone, sternum, gentlemen, if that's a better reference point for you. Open your chest, shoulders down. Gently lift the neck, but don't pinch, just like we were talking about with that cervical spine earlier, yeah? Never feel like you're pinching the vertebra. Two more, because it's yummy. <laughs> Drop your head, pull those ribs in, tuck your tail, really round back here. Exhale. Last time, inhale. And exhale. All right, team, so you're gonna come onto your left shoulder. I'm gonna turn around the other way so we can keep 
facing you. All right, arm is down, legs are long in line with your hips. Lifting up and in. I let me fix that and flex down. I was trying to do passe for you. Straight leg, that's what we did. <laughs> Nothing's perfect here at J-Hop. <laughs> and flex down. And flex. Belly button in, lift. And flex, we have one more. Toes. And flex down, now drive that heel away. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Three more. And two. And lower. Good. And lift. And lower. That's it. All right. Let's stretch a couple of those passes because honestly, friends, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so calm and zen with you right now. I just don't even know what I did at this particular moment on the other side. <laughs> and I'm really good at this game, so. <laughs> One more time, let's just pause it because it's all good. Yeah, we're just stretching. <laughs> and in, and there it was. Okay, back at it, hands and knees. <laughs> Open the chest, reaching for those stretches again. Okay, keep your abs in and open. And down. And Work within your range of motion. Give it a little energy past that moment and then bring it back. Wrist right underneath your shoulders. And up. And down. And lift. Good. Let's go one more each side and lift. How are we doing, everybody? You feeling okay? And reach. Let's dive that arm through. Deep breaths, everyone, okay? Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Push down on that left hand and just gently find your way back to all fours. A few more cat cows, belly button in, drop your head. And open. Finding flow. Belly button in, tuck tail, drop head. Shoulders blade down. Last two here and round. And round. And again. All right, everyone, from here, I'm gonna start with my left leg forward. All right, now if you need to double up your mat, put a towel or a t-shirt underneath that back knee for a moment, that's totally fine. I want you to go ahead and tuck your toe. Just stretch this for a second. We're gonna go into some pretty deep lunge work here. And I just want us to take a moment to go through the phases. Okay, so we don't rush immediately to step three, yeah. Press your heel, your left heel, down into the mat. Really be careful of this, all right? Always knee over ankle. Hands are down and solid, all right? Now push into that big toe, pinky toe, and stretch that back leg, and lower down. Stretch the back leg, and lower. Gorgeous, two more times. Take your time, okay? And always know if you wanna live in something a little bit longer, that's where pause really comes in handy, okay? You pause, it's all good. Hold your lunge now. Keep your right hand solid into the mat. Open your left arm to the ceiling. And down. Now. Dynamically keeping this back leg up if you can. Lower down to your elbows. Breathe. Breathe. 
if you want to drop down to your knee if your toe gets deeper into this working leg yeah Maybe if you want to slide this arm, kind of snake it around. Now, I am not flexible enough that I can get my elbow down here, but maybe you can. I'm going to keep my knee reaching up to the ceiling and not opening up too wide here, okay? Keep it up to the ceiling. One more breath, everyone. Exhale. Gently, let's work our way backwards. Tuck the toe, hands are down, find your lunge. Just hold here. Come forward a little bit, knee down, and just take that leg back. Wiggle, waggle your hips a little bit. And let's go to the other side, all right? Right foot comes forward, tuck your toe, and I just want you to live in this moment for a second, okay? Live in this moment. That's what these should be called. The video is where you live in the moment. <laughs> I don't rush through anything. Enjoy every minute that you have allocated for this stretch, okay? Even if you have children in the background that you can hear, know that they are fine. Someone is taking care of them, yeah? And your job right now is you. Here we go, tuck in the toe, stretch up. Oh, I feel this on this side, team. And lower down. And press. And lower down. And press. And lower down. Two more times. Feel the length. Reach through the heel, lengthen your hip. And lower. And one more time, hold it up, stretch. Keep your left hand on the mat and reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Push a little more through that back heel. And then come down. And if it's available to you today, come on down to your elbows. And you may notice significant differences from one side to the next. This is deep, everybody. Be gentle. Now perhaps you drop that knee. Allow yourself to sink deeper into this hip stretch. And remember, this hip flexor is a huge part of this, yeah? Lengthening out. Maybe you slide that right arm around your right foot. Hug it in a little tighter. <laughs> Hear my family? <laughs> Inhale in. Exhale out. Inhale in. And exhale, slide the arm out. Let's come up onto our hands. Tuck the toe. Stay in that higher stretch for a moment. Working our way out, yeah? And gently place that knee down. Ooh, yeah. Slide that leg back. I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. Sit back, all right. Reaching those arms. Down dog. Excuse me, we're gonna hit that down dog in a second. <laughs> Child's pose. It's a Sunday, everybody. <laughs> For me. Yeah, you can tell I got my Sunday brain on. It's the day I don't teach. I take care of two crazy boys and try to clean up this crazy house. And I'm so, so grateful for this time with you. Rolling up. All right, last couple minutes here, friends. Keeping with our big hip openers. Yeah, I want you to take your center split. All right, wherever it is for you today. Again, just thinking about some of the work I do with my dancers, happy to bring that to you. Sitting up nice and tall, point and flex and point and flex. Yeah, don't worry about where you're at. If this is great for you, it's awesome. Maybe you try to just a little bit more. Flex, point, hold. Walk your hands out. Head is heavy, tail is heavy. And walk it up. Keeping it moving. Yeah, walk it forward. Maybe a little bit more now. Reach. And up. 
I'm gonna invite you to flex your feet. Okay, walk it forward, good. And up. Last time, walk it as far forward as you feel comfortable today. All right, don't think of rounding in your spine, thinking of flattening your spine, pancaking a little bit. Also, watching the hips, don't let them rotate forward. You want that to go up to the ceiling, okay? Knees up to the ceiling. Huge, huge stretch here. Inhale in. Exhale out. What can you release? Inhale. Exhale. And walk it up. All right, gently close those legs, give a little wiggle waggle. All right, that down dog, I promise. So hands on the mat, on your toes, reach your heels down. You know what is amazing, friends, are that my heels are on the mat. I'm telling you, I said this last week, or I'm sorry, last month. When I take the time to do this, I can get my heels on the mat. When I don't, you'll see in those Pilates videos, they are not down. So thank you so much for inspiring me to do this and to keep working. Rise up to the toes. Exhale, heels down. Two more, inhale up. Exhale down, reach, reach, reach. And one more time, inhale up. Exhale, down you go. Walk your hands back to your toes. Keep that belly button pulled up. Now, as I've cautioned to you before, make sure you don't push your hips back behind your heels, okay? You hyperextend your knees and you get out of your hamstrings. Ooh, we want you in your hamstrings. All right, if you need to be up here on your thighs, that's great. Keep your belly button in and keep reaching your chest forward. If you're feeling okay, please drop your head, fingertips to elbows. Let's ragdoll here together for a moment. Keep the belly button lifting, protect the over back, the um, lower back from overstretching. And I just want you to do a little figure eight here. So rounding in the spine, circle the waist, right to left, right to left. Drop the arms, keep a circular movement. Belly button is lifting. We're gonna ride this train all the way to the top. So head is heavier, right, left, right, left. Keep the head heavy. And at the very top, align the shoulders and roll up through the rest of the neck and head. All right, there you have it. All right, we did it. Okay, thank you so much, everybody. I hope you feel good. I needed that. All right, thanks for getting me going today, and let's do it, do it, do it, do it, do it again. All right.